Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Trizes Max of Two Lives Gaming. Thank you for joining us so much. We're busy playing Airlines Manager. And uh, today we're going to be going through the tabs so that we can see what the tabs mean in this game. So there's a lot of them. So let's get started right off the bat. If I could ask you, please hit that subscribe button before I start hitting buttons here. Thank you so much and thank you for liking it as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go check right here at the top there with their faces. This is obviously my profile. So uh, apparently I'm a CEO, Mr. Trizes Max. And then it says some information about my ranking and the creation of my airport. And then it also say, it's, it gives a general idea of the types of routes that we have here. And as you can see also, it gives us a, a balance and what our airline value is. It gives us the number of aircraft we've got, the number of routes we've got, and hubs and so forth. Alright, so entertainment and these sorts of things, I guess that's stuff that we still have to unlock in time these are the three types of airplanes that we've got in the meantime and then if we go over to ranking that's going to give us all the international rankings i guess of all the best players in the world all right and then there's tycoon results um, i guess if you finish a game, it, it's probably or it's kind of like a session, a season that you have to take a part in. All right, and then let's go down here. You've got this little map thing. Uh, first of all, it's the radar. It's the map that we're using now. It's got all the tabs on that we use. So if we go over to expansion, this is then going to change over to all the little cities that we can use hubs of all the places in the world where we can probably take our airlines to let's have a look here wow there's a lot in europe and america can you imagine it well i'm from down here in africa here to be precise jhb and there is wow there's not too many airports here. <laughs> Anyways, everybody knows Joburg International. So, okay, that's what that tab means. Then there's alliances. This is going to give us an overview, I guess, of where we can join alliances or create alliances if we have enough credits. Um, you can look for alliance by checking out the region so you can probably go into your own region and look for some somebody that you can join that, that that's not even a place on the map but there's an alliance there okay and then if we close this tab and we go back to radar mode that's going to bring up our operation screen again all right, and then we've got this clock thing. This clock thing is a delivery list. So I've purchased the plane and it is to be delivered in about 51 minutes. And then it also shows any other research that I might be busy with. So let's finish that research. Okay, let's go back to research and development while we're at it. Um, I don't know exactly what we're going to start with. So last time we did cargo. So let's do um, marketing. Okay, we'll do some of that. Yes. Okay, so that's going to finish. No, not, not now. That is if we want to buy some. Okay, then we've got this little stamp on the paper there. This is the agenda. It's kind of like your, your daily missions, your missions that you have to do. So it says here that I should check the 
it'll change the ticket price of a route. <coughs> you had to figure that out. Okay. Let's go to the dollar signs here. This is our cash flow. Gives us an idea of what our turnover is, how much money we make, how much money we spend for a flight, and how much money we make actually. Okay. Wow, minus 91,000 or 96 million. My goodness gracious. Spend a lot of money in this business. Okay. Then we've got this duty free. Duty free takes us to the shop where you can purchase all sorts of lacquer goodies. Then you've got this box that seems like it's it's kind of like flying. And oh, this is aircraft that I think you can buy with special points or libraries that you can get for those planes. Okay, and then we've got this box with the shining thing inside of it. There's a slot cockpit. So over here we get to pull the long the banded arm. And then you'll get um, ticket prices or small prizes for every ticket that you pull. All right. Then we've got the wallet. Uh, I guess this is extra cash for us. So you watch a video and you, you get a little card for that. All right. And then. Moving over to the, the center here, we've got the international time, 2038. 20, 20, oh my goodness, it's a while into the future and I wonder if I would look that good so long from now. <laughs> it's about 16 years, guys. Yeah, you 16 year olds could have children by that, that time. Daddies and mommies. As for us older people, we'll just be very, very older. Okay. Moving over to this little clock that we've got on the right hand side. The wings. Now, this has got everything to do with the schedule. Let's check the schedule of the day. These are the flights that we've got coming in and out. If we hit it again, we go schedule flights. Then we can start scheduling flights. From certain destinations. So here we can see Pioneer 1 is used only 79% of it and we can probably do better so let's check it out and we can send it to another place as well if we like. So it can be retrofitted to do cargoes or we can just send it into a place where we will find more passengers. All right. So if we go out here, we have this little plane on the runway or taxiway. All right. This is everything to do with our aircraft. Um, this is my aircraft the aircraft that i have bought these are the models that i've got each one individually um, even with their names <laughs> jnb01 jnb wdh0 and pioneer one and patriarch one all right our aircraft acquisition as we saw this is where we're gonna buy or um, lease an aircraft okay then I see there's a second hand market. We'll probably get into that later. Here's the maintenance book. Maintenance book is used to do maintenance on our planes. So over here we can select uh, validate. And it will basically fix everything on our planes and make it brand new again. So we can do like a check A. And it will bring the plane uh it's not damaged because i repaired it so early uh, all right well that is what we've got for that and then we've got the library management i 
guess we can make our own library here. Let's check it out. So we've got one of these Boeings. Oops, shouldn't have pressed that button. Okay, so it threw me out. It wants me to download something. So there's an Airlines printer that you can download from Google Play Store. Okay, two libraries are free. And then sold libraries, discover Airlines Painter, and so forth. All right. Then we've got this little building icon. If we go in there, it's everything to do with staff, research, research services, and finances. So on our staff side, I don't think we've got a lot of staff. Hello Trizus Max, staff management enables you to hire and train employees in order to improve your airline. Agency workers are employed each time airli Maximus Airline Airlink grows. Hiring them as recruits avoids financial molds and unlocks training courses. Let's hire agency workers. Okay, these agency workers represent the cost of what? Okay, but hiring represents a cost of 120. This will be offset by reducing salary cost. Oh, okay. So let's hire them. I don't know what they're gonna do. hired our first 400 and I think we've got more employees than we can get people on planes. Well, recruits cost less than agency workers. What's more, recruits can be trained and in order to improve your airline characteristics. Let's train our employees to improve our airline characteristics. Training courses are categorized according to three levels. Beginners, professionals and managers. Okay. Let's begin by training our recruits beginners. Everybody is recruits. Training five fields are available. Each has its own advantage and affects certain characteristics. All right, management division. Choose the training introduction to the airline industry in order to improve our ancillary revenue. Ah, that probably means to de-improve. Okay. Okay, let's train all of these people. And they'll all be entry level once we're done. Okay. By carrying this out, 437 will become beginners. An introduction to airline industry. Approve this training to improve your airline. This time it's for free. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can. Hey, come on, lady. A few moments later. This is not happening. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so finally, I just had to go out of the game, come back in, and we trade all of our stuff. And we've hired our first employees and we've trained them now. All right, so let's go back to that buildings menu. That was staff. Let's go to research. 
Now I am busy doing research. I am busy doing, uh, what was that? I think it was the marketing one. Yes. Let's start with that one. See, it's still busy doing the research there. So that's what research does. Go back into that tab and then we've got services. Now services seems to be everything with entertainment, price attractiveness, punctuality, safety, all these sorts of things. That's what we're going to have to work on with our um, staff, obviously. So, let's see, uh, partnerships that we've got. Infrastructure, onboard, airport services. Uh, these are all things that we can do on the airline to improve more people. Okay, so that needs to be researched. And then if we go back into it, the last one that we can check is our finances. So banks. <laughs> is this all the places we can get the loan possible? Alright, but we're not going to take out the loan right now. Here's our accounting book. Similar to the one that we saw earlier. But this one is a little more detailed. Showing us all of the detailed expenses that we've gone through. And then... Um, We've got the uh, cash account. This also shows how flights are coming in and out, how we are making money, how we are losing money. And then we've got a financial summary, which is going to put everything together for us. So we've got a general idea of how our structural profit looks like, profits this week, expected costs and so forth all right so we've gone through that one and then the very last tab that we've got here is this little earth ball network management this creates new routes between certain airports so let's say we want to make one between Joburg and we're gonna do Oh, mind you, this is this is something com completely different. Okay. So network management, that's probably about all our hubs that we've got. Hub purchase, that's if we want to buy a new hub. And the route creation, that is what we use to buy new planes with. And new routes with. So let's say we wanted one in, uh, um, let's see if we can make it into Europe with any sort of plane and we'll, where shall we go? I don't think I'm going to make it into there. Anyways, if I take a route, I can create it from here. Let's make one from here to Angola. Okay, so here's one for tax per flight. Which one is going to give us the most? Let's go for this one. All right, so that's how you purchase it. And then we can either lease an aircraft or purchase it. So let's go ahead and buy one. It's going to give us an idea of what we should be able to, to buy. Let's go for this one here. All right, and we saw it's not going to be too much. There we go, first class people. 
mostly economy class we'll validate that and then we'll validate the color and then once we say purchase it's going to deliver this plane for us within the next hour and then once it's delivered we're going to start setting up its flights and Bob's your uncle all right the last tab that we can see here is a little chat icon box where we can come in and we can chat and then there is the little settings if you want to change some of the settings in the game map information that sort of thing that's exactly where you're going to want to be all right everybody thank you for joining us in this quick tutorial uh, it's more an exploration of what the tabs do i hope that you learned as much as i did we're going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.